Welcome back to Let's Play Pirate Queen's Quest, the DLC chapter for Shantae, half-genie hero. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I'm back in Main Street making use of my new Kraken Ball in order to uh, explore strange places and find new treasures, like this one! Well, I was wrong, but you know, it was pretty much 50-50, let's be honest. You got dark magic! Hell yes. Down I go. Oh, right. Didn't get me that time, you fucker! Oh no, that's not the dodge button. <sighs> Stop shooting at your captain! What is wrong with you? Oh right. That's kind of why I'm here. Huh, that's weird. I wouldn't have been able to get in there as the mermaid. Water bits in this section. Save that! Take a note! The note is to fire everyone who forgot about my do not shoot at the captain order. Like that guy. What would a bad guy do? Uh, take the. Uh, garnish the wages and <laughs> take them from his next of kin. at all, really. And that doesn't work because it's not straight. And I've been in there. Oh, you can hit them with multiple bullets. That's interesting. You know what? I'll just... I was not expecting that particular voice acting line. <laughs> oh. Oh. More like risque boots. <laughs> Mind you, she does appear naked in between every level, so yeah, actually. Risque boots. That's terrible. And I'm already tempted to name the episode that, so I really hope something more specific happens before the end. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm dying. That's really bad. Let's say that's more specific. There we go. Corn dog. I'm 
Eh, yeah, fuck it. Oh. That was satisfying. What are these little fire tornadoes, anyway? You have to keep doing I read on the uh, Shantae wiki some interesting things. One of them was that apparently every single half genie, uh, their magic manifests with a unique, you know, trait, a singular quirk. It's unique just to them. Oh. There are areas of Scuttletown beneath the waves. Perhaps there's a way. Where haven't I tried yet? And, uh, Shantae's unique, uh, uniqueness is the dancing. No other half-genie can cast spells by dancing. I thought that was really neat. I'm not actually sure if any ha if any other half-genies have appeared. Can I... Oh, no, I can't! I can't turn things off and on. Oh, right, that could make things painful. I'm just saying, being able to sink, that's one thing. Having to sink, that's another thing. Oh, hell yeah. No time for that, Borley, but you know. You be dead! Why, hello there. Yoink! Oh, more tuna. That's what sushi looks like in its natural habitat. Good to know. That was a joke. Do not uh, take that at face value. You know, just in case it needed to be said. Is that actually a wall, or... Yeah, okay, it's not just painted on. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about. I can't get up right now. It's the difference between the, uh... the mermaid and the crab, you know? Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Yes. Excellent. No, oh, what the hell? Oh, wow. Okay. That's yeah, a whole different thing over here. Ahem. I suppose one of the upgrades to the Kraken Ball is probably the mermaid thing. You can just press A as many times as you want to, uh... Actually, you know, you don't even press A a whole bunch of times. That's the harpy I'm thinking of. The mermaid can just move freely through the water, up and down with the D-pad. No. Alright, I'm up here now. 
I really do love the trick shots, I'm not gonna lie. That's really, really satisfying. Yeah, if I'd done that with the right timing, that would've been amazing. See? Again, not amazing. I know that's supposed to be a naga, but it really looks like a caterpillar body, not a uh, snake body. I'm just saying. I don't know, maybe they're just chubby. <laughs> maybe when a uh, naga gains weight, it all goes straight to the snake part. What? Shit! Oh, great. Wow. That was bad, even by my standards. I missed a jump and now I'm in Davy Jones' locker. What the hell? I guess I don't- I clearly don't pay enough attention to the backgrounds, because, uh... I didn't even notice those ruins over there. And in fairness, there is generally kind of a lot going on in the foregrounds of these games, I'm just saying. Aren't you dead already? I think that's the room where the, uh, what do you call it normally goes? The wizard! Except there doesn't seem to be a hole for the mouse to emerge from. Oh no, there it is, there it is. So I guess that one's the wizard and the chest next to it. Yeah, I do remember there actually being a chest next to it. am I meant to go? Oh, that's not one of the ones that appears, it's one of the ones that moves, you dingus. Yes. What the hell? I suppose, strictly speaking, the issue is that the, uh... The, uh... Not the grappling hook, goddammit. I totally forgot what I was about to say. That's weird. I was focusing on not falling down like an idiot, and uh, I totally lost my train of thought. Hmm. That's going to irk me. A lot of people have, uh, purple hair in this, uh, setting. No! Hmm. That would've been great.
No, let's not do that. Oops. Well, that'll work too. I think I asked earlier, just wondering out loud how Risky's hair compares to the shade of Shantae's hair. Shit! Alright, I wonder if it's not the execution then. I wonder if it's just not what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh. Oh, alright, let's just get out of here. There's still water to be explored inside the factory. Okay, that's cool. I can't cling to walls, though, so I can't just Spider-Man my way up like the monkey can. Well, that's not the solution, clearly. Just hurling myself out into nothingness. Alright, let's see here. This time I'm definitely inside the factory. I wasn't sure about that last time. Oh, right, duh. I forgot immediately the reason why I came here. Well, she's got that over Mega Man. I don't think he could slide underwater. Uh, surely everything touching the water should be dead. Oh, no, no, they're not quite touching. Honestly, I would not put it past Risky Boots to have her pirate sword galvanized on the handle so that she can't be electrocuted by striking electrical things. I think galvanized is the word I'm thinking of. You know, rubber coated. Over here. Look at me. I'm a big fat target. Oh, no, no. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> that looks really silly. Ah, uh, well. Wait a minute. Oh. No, there's nothing here. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Oh, oh wait. There's water here. Derp. That's why I came to the factory again. Come on, me. Get with the program. Look, there's treasure right there. That'll make you feel better. Wah! You got Genie Crystal! Hell yeah! That'd be funny if I was, uh, right about that idea I had. Like, just randomly during the campaign. Like, if this series, uh, this series, this, uh, DLC ends with, uh, Risky cutting off Shantae's hair. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess that wouldn't really make any sense if it was setting is that during the events of uh, 
in the DLC. Oh, I should be careful about that. That's a nine now, so I shouldn't pick up any more I find in bubbles. did go, so I should probably go as well. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Shantae. Well, actually, no, this is Let's Play The Pirate Queen's Quest, which is a DLC for Shantae, Half-Genie Hero. 